news you can use. And uh, this is going to be one of these, I told you so, uh, news you can use. Let me read you the headlines from, it was last night, uh, last night's news, 10.02 p.m. last evening. I'll just read you the first, uh, first paragraph. Governor Gavin Newsom, that's our governor here in California, we call him Emperor, Emperor Newsom, says California will pay off all past due rent that accumulated in the nation's most populated state because of the fallout from the coronavirus pandemic. They promise to make landlords whole while giving renters a clean slate. Um, what is, what's not settled is whether California will continue to ban evictions for unpaid rent beyond the June 30th deadline. We've got a June 30th deadline for a, an eviction moratorium. Um, and they haven't decided yet, even though we're within a week or so of, of that period of time, a little bit more than a week uh, of what's going on there. But um, I think I've mentioned this over the last at least uh, four or five months. Uh, when you buy a property in most states, if you're buying something that has some past due rent attached to it, that's a as a result of COVID, I would make sure that you get that past due rent assigned to you so that you can collect it. Um, I, I mentioned a story, I think it was in January or February about a tired landlord who owned his house free and clear and his tenant had not paid for something like 20 months, actually it preceded the, uh, the COVID stuff, uh, but they used as an excuse to not make payments the COVID deal. The landlord sold everything. He just sold that property off because he's just tired of dealing with it. Um, and the guy that bought it bought the rights to, in addition to the rights to collect the past due rent, which was 20 months at like 1500 a month. So the guy just made himself a quick 30K beyond the extreme discount he got on the property. Uh, from the landlord slash owner of uh, said property. Um, so as I mentioned, uh, as I'll mention again, you guys should really keep that in mind when you're buying a property. It doesn't have to be in California, it could be any place because it's typically the way this stuff works uh, with a few exceptions. When California does it first, then either the federal government will chime in and do the same thing or other states will follow suit. So uh, the plan right now is to make all landlords whole. Um, I don't know where they're going to get the money to do this. They say it's only going to take only going to take 5.2 billion, which for some reason California was one of these states during the pandemic that actually brought in more money. Uh, state of California hired more collectors, and they have actually received more income than uh, far in advance of what their projections were. So. Uh, believe it or not, uh, this state out here is flush with cash. And uh, as typical with um, uh, these uh, government uh, bureaucrats, they can't stand to let that stuff sit in their pocket for long. So it's going to get spent uh, on a bunch of different things, uh, not the least of which is to make all landlords whole. So it's going to be very interesting to see what happens and how long... Um, how long all of this will uh, will play out and how long before the landlords out here can get uh, all these back payments. But this is, uh, I guess, good news for landlords who've been stiffed. Um, overall, it's not a good news for the economy. Sorry about that, let me turn off my phone. Um, and that's, that is where we're headed uh, as a society nationally and of course here from the, the left coast.